Hi, guys. Hi, and I'm back. Welcome back. It's been a while. It's been such a while. Lots of things change. We live in a new house. I have a new studio. We live in a total different environment, more of the countryside instead of the city, the city life, really. So I've been so inspired by the landscape layers and all the beautiful nature. Also, we have been having such beautiful weather here. Things just changed here for me. And so I needed to rediscover myself, my identity as an artist. I've been looking at my journey as an artist, my life, my experiences, and what I've been feeling. And I'm still in an experimental phase here, but I'm loving the direction that I'm going in. It feels so much more like me. So my first inspiration is definitely the landscape layers. And I know I've always been attracted to botanics, flowers, but now more of the composition of those landscapes. And that's something totally different. And also in our living room, we have this honey yellow wall. It was quite a spontaneous decision to paint it this color, but we thought Tifo is gonna love that, my son. But I've been loving this too. It radiates happiness really, and it lights up the whole room. So that color is one of the colors that I definitely want to be using in this painting. And keep in mind, it's going to be a total different painting that you're used to seeing from me. Also this color, you know, the last couple of months, every time when I make a new color palette, this color is in there. So that needs to be in this painting too. What I do want to mention as well is that since we moved here, I started stretching my own canvases. And this gave me such a feeling of power to be here with my materials from the get-go and connect more with the canvas and my painting. And this really made me take my art more seriously. You know, I have so many things to tell, but you know what? I just want to show what I've been creating for this beautiful honey yellow wall. So let's get started. The color that's been calling me for months, let's start with that. It's this beautiful, super vibrant orange together with a titanium white, and I'm just mixing it directly on canvas. And so this is my own stretched canvas, and it's raw canvas. I did gesso it once with clear gesso, but you see it's not 100% white, it's more this beige color. I think that's gorgeous, but also raw canvas. It works totally different, so when pouring this amount of water, it's already sucking it up a little bit. And this way you can create those beautiful crisp lines as well. And this first part is highly inspired by Lauren Mycroft. This color is just gorgeous. So now I will wait till it's dry. Bubble, bo, let's touch it. Let's connect with this canvas, with its color. <laughs> and uh, now I'm planning to use that honey yellow color. So I'm mixing it myself with a yellow and a touch of transparent red. And it becomes more of a sort of goldish color, but when adding some water to it, it becomes more transparent. And that's also something that I'm 
really want that we create those landscape abstract layers that are transparent and laying on top of each other. This is gorgeous color. This is definitely the hue of the of the wall color that we have. But this is quite intuitive and also quite meditating. Just finding the shape that you want. See those crisp lines? of hours later again so I definitely want more of a vibrant color in this as well because I'm planning for some darker colors in the end and this is like a lemon lemon color super super fresh Just playing around with the shapes and finding the composition. is warm color but it does meet an even darker color create some depth in this one This is now dry and I've definitely bonded with this, this painting. You know, we're friends, but it's quite a stable friendship. And I love some spontaneous things. <laughs> and some here in this yellow, I think, you know, maybe some trips. And so, and trying to get some drips out of this yellow and see if it, you know, creates some more interest in this, in this painting. We need some more play, even more play. So I'm taking my pencil and I'm just trying like where I want this to flow and not taking it away from the composition, but going with the lines. And I love some elements and pops of colors and so I figured let's add some small shapes in this some playful shapes just to break up that clean clean painting just make it playful spontaneous and give something fun and happy to look at Thank you. 
I feel with this new artwork, I'm entering a new era and I couldn't be happier. This artwork resonates so deeply with me, I can hardly explain. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear and I'll see you next week.